Hey guys, uh, just did this yesterday, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how to do this because it's uh, it's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna teach you how to use your Wiimote as a controller for Nestopia, the NES emulator for Mac OS. So you're gonna need two things first. You're gonna need Darwin Remote, and I'll put the link to that in the description box, and also Nestopia, and I guess I'll also put that in the description box. So first you want to go ahead and download and install those. So once you have Darwin Remote and Nestopia installed, go ahead and open Darwin Remote. And first thing you're going to want to do is make sure your Bluetooth is on and click f and then click Find Wiimote and then click the 1 and 2 buttons simultaneously on your Wii Remote. And once your Wiimote is connected, the first player LED should si uh, light up or actually whichever you choose over here. Next thing you want to go do is click Darwin Remote Preferences, and over here where it says App Remote Delete or Add, go ahead and click Add, and then let's just call it Nestopia, and then click Wiimote. You can actually set up settings for all your controllers like Wiimote Nunchuck Classic Controller, but for now, since it's just NES and it's pretty awesome, uh, I'll just use my Wiimote. So. The controls for this, the control scheme, is going to be like FCEU, the NES emulator for a Wii. And it's going to be held horizontally with the D-pad on the left and the 1 and 2 buttons on the right. So next thing you want to do is go over here and your up is actually going to be left. Left is down. Right is up and down is right A and B you don't have to worry about minus we're gonna make tab and that's gonna be the select button plus is return and that's the start button and one we're going to make key shift that's actually the B button two key alter option and that is the A button so once you're, you have these settings, just go ahead and click OK. And the next step is to go ahead and load up Nestopia. And uh, I'll actually switch over to my camera for that and show you the Wii Remote and how it's used. So uh, here we are back. Sorry for the absolute, like, crap quality on my camera. My camera really isn't that good, but uh, whatever. So as you can see, or I hope you can see, I got Darwin Remote started. And I'm actually on my Nestopia mapping. So, next thing you want to do is start up Nestopia. And of course, since it is an emulator, you do need ROMs, but I'm not going to tell you where to get them. You can find that out yourself. Um, so I'm just going to do Super Mario Bros. 1. And let me just warn you, I do suck at this game. Like, really bad. But this is just for, you know showing you how this is done so whatever Well, there you have it. Super Mario Bros. or and Nestopia, whatever game you want to play, actually will run on this mapping. So, uh, have fun with it.